what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview i got this on my email and uh if you are interested enterbay just dropped jam Morant for pre-order and i normally get my enterbay figures not a whole lot of them lately at um bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below you know they still have a few available like the Giannis ones and, and steph curry that's where I normally uh, get my Enter Bay figures for my basketball, you know, fellow basketball fans out there who collects athletes and NBA figures of alike. Yeah, it's they're reliable, uh, $4 shipping. And uh, if there's something wrong, they double box your items since they don't, you know, this one doesn't come with a shipper box. And, uh, you know, they're easy to deal with. You know, you can return an item easily. Uh, very reliable. Uh, but moving to this item. I don't know who runs Enterbay's campaign market or anything like that, but this is uh, a bad timing to release a John Morant figure or pre-order for the figure. Have they not been listening to the news? This guy is suspended for at least two games. There's no definite time frame. The, the league is still investigating, you know, some stupid things that he does. And he is dumb because, you know, it's one thing to do it. It's one thing to boast it on the internet, you know, on Facebook Live. I mean, Instagram Live. There's so many uh, bad press surrounding this guy for you to find, you know, to actually release it. The, the even better timing is that when he comes back, you know, maybe you can make the argument that he redeemed himself. He, uh found ways to better himself checked himself in a rehab or therapy and all that stuff but now the guy just has this aura on him that he is this arrogant kid and you don't want that right now like you don't want to release this pre-order right now yet enter bay did that i don't know why i guess if you live in memphis you still root for the guy but it's hard for it's hard to root for the guy if he's making bad decisions one after another uh but <laughs> i don't know man uh 300 for this guy it doesn't come with a gun but he does have that. you see that finger right there he does come with that uh a finger uh, gun gesture finger remember he did that when he was playing i guess with the pacers and then the game after that he did that taunting gesture he wasn't reprimanded for that even though you know it was kind of like a sensitive nature at that time i was surprised but you know he didn't want to stop you know he he won to miss games i don't know he's self-sabotaging himself right now which is unfortunate because the grizzlies are a really good team and especially you know he's a big part of that man i <laughs> i can't think of a worse timing for enterbay <laughs> to release this but with that being said the head sculpt looks great you know, it doesn't also hurt that Ja does have the sleeves on his knee, so it covers it up. Um, so you, now you only see the elbow joint for one sleeve, which is the right hand. And of course, the shoulders. I've seen some, again, wh what are those seam lines you know, on the right shoulder right there? Uh, it feels like a stretch mark, but it's not, obviously. But the muscle definition is different. He looks skinnier because Ja is really a, a more leaner, athletic, tone-looking guy. Uh, so I'm guess I don't know if it's a new body, but it, it looks like it because he's, again, skinnier. He's slimmer. Um, you know, he got the hoodie, the Grizzlies basketball, so that's cool. He does have, I believe, that that is the most improved trophy. I don't know how you can be the most improved if you're your second pick overall. Aren't you supposed to be good right off the bat if you're your second pick? I don't know. But hey, he does have the backdrop. Um, now, I do have um, the Enter Bay Steph Curry, which is a, a, a newer figure that does have that backdrop. And I tell you, it's, it's a good addition, even though you can't really use it half of the time because it takes too much space. But I do like it for photography-wise. You know, if you're doing photography and all that stuff, that is a good thing to have. Now, head sculpt. I would say this is the best head sculpt they've had in a while. Because they have a string of misses with KD. Even Steph. I would say with Steph, with the Giannis one, that's a miss. Uh, the Luka Doncic one, it's decent. But again, it's not 100%. 
this one's pretty darn good. I would say this, I would say a 9 out of 10. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not lying, you know, maybe like 9.5 even. Uh, it's a really good representation of Ja, even the, his hair, which is very intricate. Yet they were able to manage to make it look good, you know, with his... There's a lot of things going on with his hair, and they managed to do it. I wish, again... They are charging the baseline price for these guys now is $300, which I think is insane to begin with. I said that I, you haven't seen it. I'm going to release my Steph Curry review soon. And I said it on that review. It doesn't feel like a $300 figure. It just doesn't. It doesn't give you that same effect if you open a $300 Hot Toys. Just keep in mind, I know it's on sale. I bought two, three, zero figures with a lot of accessories with Rambo and uh, Eleven. Just to give you perspective here, two iconic figures, Eleven and Rambo. They are not hot toys. However, they, especially Rambo, came with a lot. And yes, they were on sale, and I, I was able to get get some, uh, you know, coupons for them. But I paid two hundred ninety seven dollars for two figures shipped with tax for those two figures you're asking me now to fork out 299 or 300 dollars plus shipping which is if, if it's a big bad 304 plus tax 334 or 335 let's say 340 for this guy right here i don't know doesn't seem reasonable to me i like ja you know i like nba i like the nba i'm a basketball fan but with these ridiculous prices, with kind of like nothing to show for, really, um, it's harder. It's harder to justify the price. If it makes sense, I would rather have it lowered. The price gets lowered and take out the backdrop. Take out, you know, the hoodie. Take out everything and make it 250 Make it 220 Make it affordable so it's a little bit easier to digest for collectors to buy players outside of their home team as a basketball fan i don't know maybe you guys think it's i don't know let me know in the comments if you think that's a crazy thought but i feel like these guys should be at a max is 220 they can't be the same price as hot toys i'm sorry they just not they just can't be but let me know in the comments how you feel about this figure. Does it look good? Are you going to pick this up? It doesn't come with a gun, unfortunately. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.